Hello everyone, my name is the Amber Knight, or Emma for short. Welcome back to the channel, and this is the 13th day in the 31 Days of Horror. Let me just check that real quick. Um, yeah, 13th day in the 31 Days of Horror. Today we are playing Potty Playtime Chapter 2. Um, continuing on from the last chapter. If you haven't seen that, um, link in the description to that episode. But this chapter is called A Fly in a Web. With Poppy now free, the situation begins to change rapidly while you search for a way to escape the factory. Playtime Co.'s new patented elastic plastic, you can stretch, pull, and twist Mommy Longlegs in the craziest ways. She loves watching you play. When you're having fun, she's having fun. The new Mommy Longlegs from Playtime Co. What's the time? Did I just say wake up? Oh god. That reminds me of um that one arcade machine on FNAF 6 with the little girls at the back. I don't know why I want it this, like just at the back behind behind the screen and she just fades into reality. Okay. So continuing straight on. Nice fan off. <laughs> yeah. One hundred percent. My I'm still going with my theory that. Spring to new heights. Playtime codes are responsible for children that are supervised. That's the voice they picked for Huggy. That is horrible. I'm still looking forward to sharing my fears with you guys. Um, oh, that's nice. I still have like a wide range of theories on this game. That I try to discuss with my partner. Um, apparently she watched a Game Furious video on. Yay, trophy. Um, yeah, she watched a Game Furious video. So... Poppy, thank you Mr. Ludwig. Yeah, don't go trying to say, she watched a... A game theory video, and um, it was very hard to to talk. Uh, well, to obviously like to, to talk about it because if she not she's watched the game theorist. I wanted to before I talk to her fully about it. I wanted to get my my point across, like my theory across, 
to you guys before I talk to her about it. Um, experiment 814. No, it's the experiment utilized a live rat. Rat was fed three portions daily for two three, for two weeks. At the end of the two weeks, the rat was killed and submitted to my point plan. It was served with gel mixture. One week later, a shock was applied to the rat still in the gel in an attempt to revive it. The rat remained unresponsive. Analysis. I still believe in the potential of the body flower. Its unusual properties led me to believe that the proper mixture and procedure could have life-altering properties. The poppy flower has, for a long time, carried hard, heavy symbolism, and I don't believe there's no reason for it. Perhaps something larger than a rat would yield different results. Mm. Let me pull the chair. Playtime Co. is the product of a great man by the name of Elliot Ludwig. Divorced, but a family man at heart. His sights were always set on bringing amazing toys to amazing children around the globe. Ludwig spent countless hours in the factory, working overtime relentlessly in an attempt to continuously innovate and surprise. In the 1960s, an unfortunate family death had pushed Ludwig down to his lowest. But with so much ambition, he rose back up and continued to fulfill his vision for the Playtime Co. toy factory. Ludwig could never be content leaving a project unfinished. But just how did one man come to create such an astounding empire? How did he manage to stay determined even after suffering such a tragic loss? It all began in the fateful year of 19... It's honestly watching because um, I remember the YouTuber now watching Markiplier play this for the first time and actually experiencing this game for myself. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Hello. I was just trying to get the power back on. Here. Thank you. Um, yeah, like seeing this for myself now, like playing it, I'm having a lot, a complete different mindset. You got a kid. Um, I don't know if I should go into my theories just yet, since hey, I know. I don't know if I should go into my theories just yet, because I know like what chapter three holds, but. Um, just a little theory. I think that the girl, well, the the family member he lost, was her. I think that Ludwig put a busy bee. That's me. I think Ludwig put. Um, Put her into the doll somehow. Listen, I'm going to need you to trust me. I remember that, and I need to follow for some reason. I'm highly, honestly, I am really invested in the lore of this game, like, trying to figure it out. Um, can't read that, sadly. Elliot Ludwig, Leaf, Pia, Eddie something, and Stella Graeber. 
Why do they all have slides? But yeah, I am really invested in the story of this. Um, Yeah, I am really, like, invested in figuring out what the lore of this game is. Like, I have so many theories. I don't want to look into the game, like, what people say, because, um, you know, um... Um, is this meant to be like this? Oh god. PG Pocket Power. Um... Let me load last checkpoint. Like, I'm... Um, I don't want to give away too much on like... Oh, so that's what it meant by dismembered, so you just lose your hand. But for some reason it was bugged. That's a nice fan art. Well, sorry, that fan art wall art. Um... Yeah, like... I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know what to say without giving away too much of like what's to come in the later episodes. Because it's, it's been a while since I played this. Well, sorry, since I watched Markiplier play this game and Chapter 4. But I've kind of got my own theories with this game. I'm pretty sure, like, what I'm saying, probably everyone already knows. But playing a game is so much different to watching someone actually play through it. Which is why I stopped watching Markiplier. Because I realized, like, oh, I've got a Steam Deck now. I can just play all these games that he plays. Boogie, my favourite. Dear Playtime Factory, thank you for making my B Day best from Marionette to Playtime Co. That's nice. Don't like the spider webs. I'm being honest. Um. I remember this game and fuck that. I mean, I remember all three of them, but that one, ooh, this one. Ooh. 
Mm. Okay, so how do we get down here? Oh yeah, we've got to start the game. That's that's right. Playtime core parties so are not permitted to partake in group festivities during company hours. Um, <laughs> didn't want to go down here, but I guess where are we going? Oh goody, another tape. Um, let's see what this one has to say. I love the music as well. The music's so iconic at the minute. say what I think this game is like is like but I know I kind of give it away till the third episode sorry to the third chapter okay so how do we make a hand fill it up with orbies Oh, glue. Or oh, mold. I got you. I'm really hoping that when Chapter 4 comes out, that they release it at the same time as, um, as PC players get it, because, um, Yeah, it just sucks the thought of like, like seeing spoilers to this game before it even comes out. No pain. Yeah, it would suck to not like. Because I, I would love to go into chapter 4 blind for you guys, so you can see my reaction. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Also, I have got some new games lined up. Um, I 
I know I had Steam games in the 31 Days of Horror. If you guys seen that video that I posted before I'm doing this, um, because I don't remember how to record on the Steam Deck, I've went and bought new games to play. Reduce, reuse, plus recycle. Employees' recycling habits must not impede playtime core workflow. I know when your birthday is! June 28th! <laughs> Wrong. Make a wish! Happy birthday! I was really expect. I was half expecting it to be like, I know when your birthday is, and it would actually go into your, like, PlayStation files and look for your date. Oh. Welcome to Musical Memory. This advanced memory and cognitive recognition test is designed to stimulate several segments of the brain allowing us to see how quickly and efficiently your brain works. A sequence of colors will be shown, and you must recreate the exact sequence using the buttons around you. Bunzo will slowly lower towards you. When you complete a color pattern correctly, Bunzo will rise back up. When you input a pattern incorrectly, Bunzo will lower towards you faster. If Bunzo reaches you, your test is over. The test will become more difficult as it continues, with longer patterns in quicker succession. That's all. Good luck. I don't want to do this. Oh, isn't it amazing? Mommy hasn't seen the place up and running in years. Mommy can only imagine how excited Bunzo must be. It's been such a long time since he's been able to play, to cheer, to eat. Oh, that's the dinner bell. Good luck. Yeah, you better get back up there, boy. Yellow, blue. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, blue, red, blue. Yellow, blue, red, blue, blue. Yellow, blue, red, blue, blue. Round two. take it. I can't get up. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Red. 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 Green. Red. Green. Red. Green. Green. Red. Green. Green. Red. Green. 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 Red. Green, green, green. Red, green, 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 violet. Red, green, 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 violet. Round 
read. Mortgage. Morgan mortgage. Morgan Morgan Jello. Morgan Morgan Jello Yellow. Morgan Morgan Jello Yellow White. Morgan Morgan Jello Yellow White White. Twenty rounds. Blue. Blue. J. Blue. J. Heart. Blue. J. Heart. Smiley. Blue. J. Heart. Fuck. Blue, J, Hot, Smiley Face, Pie. Blue, J, Hot, Smiley Face, Pie, Yellow. Round five. Blue, well, that question marked. Bro, fuck you. You're not talking about the game, I think you're fucking on, are you? Okay. I am scared to have to platinum this game, because, like... Oh, boy. I thought that was a tape as well. Um, There are two trophies for this chapter and chapter three to complete the game without dying. Um, is that something? I don't know. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be able to do that. Um, ooh, that's going to be, oh boy. So it poops a lot, try me. Obviously meant to be FNAF. I'm pretty sure everyone said it. Oh, oh, Owen? Owen. Dude looks so shocked if you look from him from, from, uh, bottom. So he looks, he looks shocked from up here. He looks angry there. And if I go pull up, he's just like, what? I know. Dinosaur. Uh, do you think he saw us? <laughs> Fuck you, man. Rejected items. Said poops a lot. Reason for rejection. Extremely negative reception. Various. Focus groups of an idea this was. Feel, should feel a shield. <laughs> awesome. Rejected item barrel or huggies. 
Reason for rejection. Choking has her children try to eat from the bottle, thinking it was candy. Retail shipment 018345. Reason for rejection. Entire batch of toys is miscolored due to Patty Hall sabotage in the peanut machine. Sabotage has since been dealt with. Repaint. I am very curious to see all these like notes now. Owen the oven. How could you how could you reject Owen? Reason for rejection. Multiple cases of children receiving third degree burns. What the fuck? Shit. Yo, if they ever actually sell this, um, sell that um, B cat, I want it. I, I need it. I keep seeing on the Instagram that, like, they, they make posts of, like, the plushies. And then they're, like, in the comments, well, on the actual post itself, not for sale. Kick me, Paul. Reason for rejection, nobody likes him. Laughed at a presentation meeting when revealing Kick Me Paul. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, can I have that? Can I have? Give me the doll, the trophy. Oh god! I would hate to see um, this guy as an actual like enemy. Nobody's perfect. Be yourself. Mommy Long Legs Concept V1 and Concept V2. Too freaky for target demographic designs. Needs a similar color palette and similar body shapes. So that was the original design then. Honestly, just get on the ground for that terrible joke. So people are just like messing around with that, okay. Oh shit, that's a tape. Ooh, that's a tape. Where though? Oh, yeah, I'm like cute. Um. Oh, there. I, I was going to say, I would hate to miss out on some lore. Oh yeah, I remember you need a power, so... Oh god.
I wonder as well, do I have to get the claw machine to grab this for me? Um. So, what part of the machine needs... Let's see if this thing has physics. No physics. Healthy bodies, healthy workers. <laughs> Playtime core recommends 30 minutes of exercise daily. Ex employees not permitted to exercise during work. So, yeah, they just... <sighs> I don't know why I'm trying to look. Okay, so that's where you need to get it to, right. Yeah, and um, part of me kind of wonders, like, what are the actual um, requirements to work here? Because they seem very, very strict. Like, you're not allowed to. You're not allowed to work. What's well, You're not allowed to exercise during work. You're not allowed 10 minute breaks. Um, you're not allowed to take part in certain things. Okay, oh damn. So she can web. You better not be opening what I think you're opening. I am gonna fucking cry. Whoa, you did fantastic. Who gave you permission to be this smart? <laughs> Mommy is super proud of you, but I'm sure she's already told you that herself. Our next game is Wacko Wuggy. Head Thank God. And have fun. I don't mind this. This I hate. I remember when my partner was like, oh, it's so cute. And I was like, no, it's not. Grow happy, healthy kids. Employees do child ages of two. Two months. Okay, so that's like blurred out, but I'm very curious to know what that says. No, I might be wrong about this, but. That symbolism. To me, feels like there is another employee out here that's still alive. I mean, first off, who sent the who sent the tape? You know. And I mean, there's one pair of hands there. That's a lot. That's fell on the ground. But then there's another pair of hands missing. Welcome to Wacko Wuggy. This advanced test is designed to assess the extent of your reactionary abilities. A dual palm grab pack will be provided to you for this test. Around you are 18 sizable holes. 
an adorable Huggy Wuggy toy could appear out of any one of these holes. If one comes out, hit it with your grab pack. That's all. Good luck. Yeah, an adorable Huggy Wuggy. Yeah, but there's blood in here, so that makes me think that one of them killed someone. You little bastard. If anyone's wondering why I'm not using the flashlight, it's a trophy to not use the flashlight. Get back. Get back! Get back! No! Fuck that! Got that mud that my- uh, No! Fuck off! Sorry for my language, I am like, I am shitting it right now. Got the trophy as well. Mommy is so proud of you. Here, Mommy has another hint for you. You got anything else in there? Well, maybe that's where the other hands went. I'm good. I am very good. I am happy to leave. Yeah, the more I think about it, the more people probably already know what I'm about to say. Like... Oh shit. I feel like at first when I first like watched Markiplier play this um I thought oh my god my theory is so good no one else has probably thought of this but looking back on it all of the hints that she gives you and what no I feel like it's so very obvious. Click the button to feed me candy. Nom nom nom. Feed me more. Nom nom nom. More, more candy. Nom 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 nom. Okay, no more candy. My tummy's full. Nom nom nom. 
Sugar Rush. Overfeed Candy Cat. That was fucking scary. Oh. My god. Hey, Kissy. I don't remember her, so I didn't freak out when I seen the... That was a good reference to the... to the first chapter. I like that. Also, fun fact, she is my partner's favorite character next to Catnap. Barry! Not bad, Barry. Oh my god, it's got, it's got eyes on it too, that's immense. Let's go see what was in that vent. Oh, okay. Just so conveniently placed here. Marcus Brickley recommending problem. I have seen this tape and I think it's a pretty cool cameo. Mm. 
nice little Jack Suck there, Cameo. I like that. But um, what I was going to say was that puts some more. Um, That puts some like more um, like questions into my theory. So does that mean that the employees had no idea what they were working for? Come on, Barry. Go on, Barry. Go on. Yes. <laughs> I love you, Barry. I'm sure he's okay. I hope I hope he appears in like later in a later chapter. You kind of have a minecart called Barry and not have him in a later chapter. I don't want to go in here. I hate this guy. Oh. I remember I was going to get a plushie for my partner because she thought it was so cute and I was like, it's absolutely terrifying. And then um, I'm pretty sure we re we re watched the episodes or we played this on Fortnite and she was like, I hate it. And I was like, I told you. Hungry to learn. Playtime Co Hub is a state of the art education program for all orphan kids affiliated with Playtime Co. Does no want to play with people? That sounded like something else. Caterpillar or bug? Bug crawling on all four hundred. Mm, I'm hungry for some delicious bones. Do you have some bones for pizza? That's kind of, that's so creepy, like, I'm guessing if you exhaust everyone's dialogue, they do that. Up we go. Yeah, part of me thinks that Put this in, slap it around here, grab this, pop that there. Perfect. Are you still gonna glitch out? Do you want to play with Peter? Okay, no you're not. Fuck is that? Oh, I know Welcome what's coming and I don't want it. This advanced obstacle course is designed to test your physical endurance and strength. The rules are simple. The lights will turn off. You can move through the obstacle course at this time. However, when the lights turn on, you can look around but cannot move. You may move again once the lights turn back off. The lovable PJ Pugapillar will follow you. If PJ reaches you, your test is over. That's all. Good luck.
I want to see what he how he kills you. What you say? I want to see what this guy does. Oh shit! God damn! I got shit as fuck. That I was not expecting that. Oh, oh my god, so fucking quick. <laughs> I'm fine, fucking move. Panicking is an overstatement for what I'm going through right now. Sorry, an understatement. Can he come in here? Okay, so that thing just like...
I think the symbolism's meant. Well, the whole idea of it is that I was meant. I was meant to die there. Mommy legs long. Mommy long legs and family. I remember this from the Fortnite game mode and fuck. <sighs> so the whole I the whole idea of you escaping through that through that hatch has to be like there was no escape. It was over. I hate how silent it is. What treatment? I thought this was, um... I thought the water, treat water treatment was for uh, chapter three. Guess not. Um, anyone got a tape? God, that statue! Just seeing it, like walk <laughs> in the tunnel, horrible. Mommy Longlegs, subject, airy pain. Abilities, Mommy Longlegs has the youth ability to stretch any of her limbs for several feet. This includes her fingers, arm, hair, neck, waist, and legs. She's very hostile to all the staff. Sorry. And acts warmly towards the other. Right. Just because it's saying that they're experiments, or towards the other experiments, I'm just going to say it, right? Um... I mean, it gets revealed a little bit more in Chapter 3, so we'll go more into depth. But it's saying the subject. I honestly think this is some SCP kind of shit. Like, the employees disappeared because of these things. They, I mean, they bleed. These these monsters bleed. The, this prototype thing on the TV was one of the smartest subjects. It keeps saying experiments and subjects. Which makes me think that these um, Mommy Long Legs, Huggy Wuggy, Kissy Missy, Poppy, Pukapella, the mini Huggies, um, everything that's in this game is a subject. And their role, test, this is some SCP like. And the whole idea of like leave before night, I mean, that was in Five Nights at Freddy's, but that was like. That had nothing to do. To fight the story, I don't think. Um, Mommy long legs would pr be perfect for facilitating everything with the children in the game station. She has the warmth that a mother should, and any rowdy children can listen to their mother. It makes sense that her seeing these children daily will improve her behaviour, and it's very unlikely she will act out in front of the children. Have her transferred to high security maintenance and maybe conditioning can begin. Ah, <sighs> I, I think they're SCPs. I think that's what the whole idea of it is. I mean, like... Of course, could be wrong. So I don't know what I'm doing with this part, but... Um... Yeah, I honestly think they're SCPs. No one leaves without a toy. Of course. Okay, I accidentally found the water. Um, he is loose. This is an emergency lockdown. I, I just, I don't believe that these are actual, like, you know,
to be. Don't make me sting you. I'll do it. You need to get out of here. <laughs> Just kidding. Go have fun. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what else I can say. Um, I really do think they're SCPs. I mean, I'll go more into my theory during Chapter 3 when it explains itself a bit more. Um... Crazy, like I don't want to say it's it's better because it is my childhood. I feel like this has a more in-depth law than. The original Five Nights at Freddy's. But... Oh, I missed the tape. Fuck. Um, but saying that... Um, FNAF did come out in 2015. And a lot of stuff um, followed suit after FNAF. Like, people have seen how popular FNAF was. And everyone was like, I'm going to make a game just like it. And there was all these FNAF clones. I mean, FNAF 6 apparently... I don't know if I would class it as um, what everyone says it was, but apparently FNAF 6 um, goes into the lore of everything, every, every fan game is, um, okay, so this is for the other, for the other part. Every fan game is canon because, like, FNAF 6 is like, oh, there's loads of restaurants out there with different animatronics. That was the whole idea of apparently FNAF 6. So I'm getting ahead of myself trying to, like, talk and figure out where to go. Um, not just that, but obviously. Obviously, I kind of compare FNAF. Okay, I'm going to put you down so I don't have to interact with you. Um, obviously, FNAF is a lot different to Potty Playtime. And Potty Playtime is... Um, obviously, it's a later generation of game. So who's to say that this game wasn't inspired by FNAF? I'm not saying it was, but... As a kid, I would have loved this. Like, 12 year, 13 year old me would have loved this game. Oh, okay, there we go.
And then we uh, put on this. I knew it was coming, and I didn't expect it. Oh my god, I don't know if... I don't know how this game works, I don't remember. I mean, it should be trolling. Is she looking for me? Okay, that's where I came down. Okay, so she's not looking for me. Stupid bitch. Keep all parts of yourself and your grab pack away from any heavy machine meat. Dismemberment may occur. I feel like there was something I was missing here. Okay, this. Okay, even though she wasn't actually on her way, I am still gonna say that, you know, she is coming. They really know how to set the tone for this, like... Yes! Mommy knows best. Listen to your mumsy. Ooh, fancy. Well, I am staff, so I am allowed. I should be allowed. Oh yeah, I remember this. So we got red, red, blue, green, so red,
Yeah, it's loose. Who's he? That was horrible. I didn't like that. Okay, so I was looking at the trophies there. Complete the game in 45 minutes. I think I could do that if I wasn't looking. I don't know how she didn't like, you know, think to look up. Also, I will be trying to platinum in this game. I know I've said that already. Um, Mommy says be careful around fire. I do know this is a trophy. Um, Giamolto. I might as well get that trophy, you know, while well, I know where it is. You're fired. Also, only 1% I've got, I've got this, like, platinum, so... You know, if anyone's watching this, maybe try and try and get it. Let me know if you did in the comments. Do I have to go back through the chase again? I don't want to. I was going to say that would have caught me so off guard. Okay, so I think I know what it's asking. Um, open these. I would have said pop the mold in there. Bro, swap. Okay, so... Maintenance list. Ensure that the machinery is clear. Ensure that the machinery is clear of debris, wipe machine surface of lubricant, dirt, and loose. Check for a place worn or damaged park. Check manual fluid. Check valves for damage. Um, main gear removed, damage beyond repair. Please repair immediately. Oh, what is that? Let's please respond. Please replace it as soon as possible. Okay. Okay, so that's what was um, making the beeper noise, so now I take it when this heats up, it's going to produce the gear. Interesting.
Okay, but what was stopping her from, like, coming in there, you know what I mean? And I suppose she just wants to toy with his. Okay, so you knew I was going to <laughs> Complete the game without dying, that's going to be very difficult if that's like... If that's the window, that's going to be quite hard. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> this is so intense. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this for the platinum. Um, we're almost there. Yes, we are. Um, I don't think I can do that. No wonder one percent have the platinum. I mean, complete the game by dying and then beat this under the stress of her, like, you know. I don't like this part one bit right one of the things that used to scare me a lot in horror games does not as much anymore um was chases um I never liked chases but how far can we I never liked them. As soon as I didn't let go. Open, 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 open.
I don't know what to say. That was. I mean, I've seen this. Obviously, I've seen the gameplay this before, but I didn't expect that to be so tense. Um. Yeah, she's got. She's bloody. So yeah, she. That is a. That has to be an entity or a monster that that this playtime place is keeping. I wonder if it's like Willy's Wonderland where. Sorry, spoilers to Willy's Wonderland. Maybe skip ahead. Um, I don't know what time time frame. If I remember, I'll put it in the video. Um, like Willy's Wonderland was about. A bunch of ritualists killing kids in like the costumes kind of like a little FNAF um, comedy movie about Nicolas Cage um, I really wonder if it's like Willy's Wonderland in the fact that these monsters existed but they were so powerful that they had to make a deal with them by like saying oh um, what if we made this like playtime factory we made toys and you guys were the main attraction and in turn you just get to you just, you just get to have the love of kids because i'm assuming like it's some like kind of um like want like this is what they want they want kids to like love them and whatnot kind of come on me long legs as a is a very just just not hostile towards the kids so that makes like the theory also that hand this is one of the first things i said before chapter three in the past um i think that this thing i know it's the prototype because it's it's the same hand in the video that you see in the first episode um i think the prototype is taking her body and it's gonna merge it onto hit onto that body. Obviously, we don't know what the prototype looks like, but we've seen its hand, and it was literally just like needles and like a thin, a thin arm. So I'm wondering if it's gonna salvage Mommy Longlegs' body, maybe even Hockey Wookie's body, and make itself into like a Frankenstein monster. But who knows? That's just a theory I wanted to get out there that doesn't spoil chapter 3 because like I say I know a bit about chapter 3 I don't remember all of it but yeah and who knows maybe my theory will change when chapter 3 comes along but let's get moving oh just the just the, just seeing her like crawl along the ceiling well, not the ceiling, I like go up when I was like down in the second part where I had a hold of the um, the thing and I didn't let go and I was like, I'm dead. Hey, let me read this note first. Name, Dr. Matthew Wason, Nature Request, Windows and Game Station. Why? I don't know if you've ever spent a week on and in a windless, artificial room, but let me tell you something. It's far from pleasant. The kids are getting rowdy too. You can just see it on their faces. No, there's not really a way to get natural light down there, but there's no way, right? I'm thinking about fake windows all around. Do that and bam, there's some actual life down here. I saw it on TV last week. This underground place had fake windows, big lights behind glass. It makes the whole place feel sunlit. It's nice. You want everyone in the right headspace for these games, don't you? Do the right thing, add windows. Did you kill her? Why are your eyes so Good. black and red? I'll board the train. We need to leave. Okay. Um, another theory about Poppy is Actually, I don't know if I can go into that theory without playing Chapter 3 first, so I'll get to Chapter 3 when it happens. Always stick with a bird. Excessive plusies, frustration is looked up on all workplace relationships if you disclosed to HR. So you kind of have relationships either. They are so controlling in this place. It is crazy. 
there was actually any trophies back here. I mean, I know I'm just going to do clean up um, off camera for the trophies, but like anything to help me. Um, just want to get that trophy out of the way of. Um, so the first code is. One, three, two, four. I'm just gonna say, um, I don't honestly blame her for what she's done. Um, obviously, you find that out in chapter three why she did it. Um, break now. Have a good time to break. And that was chapter two of Potty Playtime. Um, obviously, yes, I knew what was going to happen in this, and um, I know what happened to chapter three. I'm hoping to see how I react because, like, obviously, watching a video, watching a game, I've noticed watching a game of someone play it and then playing it yourself is a lot different experience. Um. Yeah, I've, I've realised that I have learned a bit more about Chapter 2, whereas when I watched Markiplier play it, I didn't fully get to, like, understanding it properly. Um, I'm looking forward to Chapter 3, which will be the next video that we do, which will be the 13th or 14th game. Not sure. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy what you've seen today, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a future upload of mine. Until then, I hope to see you in the next video that I do. Goodbye!